Is that a fender? Welcome back, episode 6, Rubicon Trail. As you saw, it was a beautiful day. We woke up with uh, a lot of excitement and ready to rock and roll. We didn't get rained on, so that was a plus. As we continue further along, the trail did get a little bit more harder and a little more challenging. But we were determined to continue and finish this trail. There's Bumblebee again. Now we had a, a very tough decision to make whether we were going to continue or turn around. Uh, we were visited by a side by side as we were trying to discuss the, uh, the continuance and the side by side person told us that if we continue it was just going to get harder and harder and he advised us to actually turn around. A lot of us wanted to uh, continue so that we could get our Jeep Badge of Honor. Um, it was a very hard decision because some of us wanted to continue, some of us wanted to uh, turn around, some of us are just too scared to turn around because of the obstacles that we have gone through. And uh, But all in all, we all decided we were going to leave Bumblebee behind, continue, then we were going to go ahead and return to pick him up. and bring them back out. Now let's look 
at this part of the trail. We have all sorts of sizes of rocks. Uh, it did get a little challenging. I actually needed to be winched out. Actually, others needed to also be winched out. Um, yeah, I think my left leg ended up having a good workout on this part. you down a little bit man you didn't really like i know you're on top of the clutch and all that you just got to kind of gain inches not feet right but am i going passenger right now Like I said, left leg workout. It was definitely a challenging uh, moment for me going through uh, these obstacles. Um, I definitely did not have the clearance. Uh, I am running 33s on a 2.5 left. So um, I am definitely going to be regearing so that way it gives me a better uh, control uh, going up these rocks. Uh, I am going to be going uh, 513 gears. Uh, I'm going to be thinking about getting a new lift, maybe uh, a 3 or a 3.5, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to get, get a little bit higher. I am going to be getting 35 inch tires. I was thinking about 37s, however, because of my front axle being the stock axle, and with the, which are 30s, um, having 37s will put a lot of strain on that axle and I didn't want to break it. So I'm going to be going 35s for now. Once I'm able to upgrade that axle, then I'll be thinking of uh, bigger tires.
No. It's already gone. Hey guys, you gotta turn. You gotta turn driver. Driver, driver. Oh, you got it, you got it. You gotta back up, Mike. Now looking back on the video, I kind of understand what happened here. Um, oh, with the hard. whole driver, uh, passenger stuff, it's, it gets a little confusing when you're trying to give uh, commands. So she says, little passenger, I could be passenger, and as I move forward, she's like, passenger, I mean driver, I, I have no idea. and uh, because I already end up starting to fall, All there was right, not yeah. much that I can do. I had landed, I was pushing the driver. Put that in here? But uh, my wheel would not be able to turn on driver because of the, the rocks that were under there. So that's what happened. Uh, I don't have, uh, I don't give any fault to Tammy. So Tammy, don't worry about it. I, it just happens. Something that just happens, it just gives my Jeep a little bit of character. So far, that's what I got, and a lot of scrapes on the bottom.